this is a another great puzzle where just looking at the geometry of givens you get is a, a good place to start. The the two key areas I see is I'm I'm already given all three pieces in these two spots. And and like most Sudoku, at least in, in sources that are printed nowadays, all puzzles are symmetric. So if you find one good spot on the other side of the puzzle is going to be the same same kind of shape at least. And the other the other thing about those regions that's promising to me is that in the other boxes, at least in, in these rows that I'm drawing here, I have all but two things placed. And it turns out that I have a 3-7 in this corner and in some order, I don't know which order, but a 3-7 are going to fill in those two spots. Over here, I need a 2 and a 4, but I already have enough information to fill those in. And so by just looking at the geometry of the puzzle, I've gotten a quick start at some places I can make some progress. Another thing you can do, like over here, we have uh, this, this given here, and now we've actually filled in all of this row. So we know what these are. These are a 2, an 8, and a 9. And on the second row is a 4, a 5, and a 6. And now we're going to look vertically. So we've just been using the information on the top of the puzzle. Now we're going to look up here. Then what I see is I have a 5, 6 here. So this forces a 5, and that forces a 5, 6. And I don't have any 2, 8s, or 9s down here yet, so there's not much I can do. Uh, there at the moment, but what I can do is look now still at this column. I haven't yet used all the information I was given in the puzzle, and so indeed I have a 3-7 pair that I could put in there, for example. I have a 5-2 and an 8-9 that come in there. And now what's, what's going to be key is to, to, to make progress uh, in, in ways that are, are useful. That There's a, a, a 1 down here that has to get somewhere down here, and oftentimes uh, I'll find a placement by looking at a digit I'm, I'm concerned about. So for example, I'm concerned about a 1 down here. So now I look at the rest of the puzzle and look at the digit 1, which I haven't done yet. And Indeed, the first digit some people may place is this one here. And so now I finally get a digit down there. And in fact, I can get all the ones. That I'm still concerned about this box down here. I know I'm going to have a, one of a 3 or 7 down here, and I also need a 6. And so now I'm just looking across and looking at the 6. And if you do this systematically, if you, if you break apart the puzzle into these pieces, you're going to have small regions where you can make real quick progress, or at least focus your attention in a way that's going to give you uh, success at the puzzle.